Let's talk about monotypes. A lot of people confuse monotypes with monoprints. A monotype is a one-time impression of a drawing or a painting that you put on a flat surface. One of the artists who used monotypes a lot in the 1900s was Edgar Degas. He even manipulated those monotypes afterwards with pastels, colored pencils, whatever he had available. Um, I would like to introduce you to a simple but effectful and easy uh, technique. For this technique, we are looking at the monotypes of Paul Gauguin. To give you an idea what we're gonna do, this is a drawing that I did a long time ago and I turned it into a monotype. And the monotype you will see on the other side. So it's the mirror image. I really love this technique because it's less controlled and it looks a lot more loose. I prepared a little figure drawing for my first monotype. First, we will clean our acrylic plate. For this first kind of monotype, I'm going to use a smooth, nice piece of paper since our original monotype will be on the other side. We're going to use an oil-based ink. You want to have an even coat on it. We are putting the drawing wherever we want it. But that's it. So after that, we're not going to change the position anymore. Tap it just quite deeply and gently and get a nice sharp pencil or even a ball pen. The advantage of using a ball pen is, especially with a different color, you see which lines you have already uh, touched. You can also use this little tool uh, which is uh, not sharp but you can make marks on it. Let's just say here. See it did leave a mark. Okay but for now I would like to use the ball pen. Okay have fun! Especially nice if you want to create an illusion and don't want to show too much detail.
Now you can turn your paper around and you have your first monotype. So as you can see, it's the mirror image. So when I turn on the light box, you can see how the lines were taken off the surface. So now we can manipulate this plate even more. Let's do it. You need some Q-tips those rubber shapers. You can use a brush. Let me start with my Q-tips. I want to work out a little more of the lighter areas. Maybe some highlights. If you have a landscape, you can work out some of the trees a little more. If you just take that very tip off, So here I can thin out the paint. Um, see. Um, don't put on too much because um, it will bleed through your paper later a lot. And it will not be a nice clear monotype. You can basically use any tool you have. I always keep those chopsticks and um, I like to also, you can draw lines in it, very nice lines without scratching the plate. This is a really beautiful color underneath. Um, I like this paint's gray. can even have um, a little effect by just having this strip a little. 
and if it's too much you can tap it with a paper towel for example one monotype or with one plate you can do so many things And here's our second monotype. 